Don't move. Good morning, everyone. Happy, happy Friday. Oh my gosh, I got things everywhere. I am just so excited, everyone. We are just coming along nicely on our stitches preparation. Um, in my class last night, I was showing them um, the Angora hats that I've done. Um, everyone's like, we wanna join? When can we buy them? Can we buy them now? So just to let everyone know, and I'll talk about this a little bit more, is that the week before stitches, every day we're gonna release a certain amount of everything we're bringing. So as a thank you to all of you who support us on a daily basis, you're gonna get first dibs on the project. So I'm excited for that. So Anna, how are you doing? I'm a little tired. Yeah, your eyes were closed. <laughs> I'm like, you're gonna fall asleep sit, sit, standing up. Did you get that day off? I mean, you took Wednesday off? Yeah. Mm. That's good. And then of course, it, I think I was so tired that I couldn't sleep because I was exhausted, got home, did the couple things that I had to do, mm -hmm. went to bed, couldn't sleep, finally got to sleep, woke up within like an hour, went back to sleep, woke up within like an hour. Hopefully this weekend you can catch up. I'm trying to find our video. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hold on a second. Technology is amazing. No, seriously. I'm like, what is the problem here? Hello everyone. Um, how about while I'm finding where our Facebook video is, you talk about the clearance because this is yes. the last week to participate and get an extra deal. So last call on all the amazing clearance goodies. We've got some of the uh, 50 mohair shades that's great for double stranding. Capri Blue Candles, some of that fun self-striping cotton, so much good stuff, and it is all on sale, a minimum of 60% off, up to 75% off on a lot of it, and then this weekend, starting today, we have a coupon code for you that is an extra 10% off of that sale price. So you put the code in at checkout and save an additional 10%. Good morning, Linda Simpson and Melanie and Kathy, Maria, Beverly. I hope you can see us today. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to show you guys. Here's, I wanna be like the TikTok video can you skip, uh, skip to the good part? Boom! And here they are. So I want to do a video on this. So here's hat number one in the Angora. Isn't this gorgeous? Now these are blocked. And then literally when it's dry, all I do is this. I don't even soft brush it. And then you hit it with a blow dryer. And voila. Voila. So that's one. Fuzzy Number goodness. two, I knit during Jesus Christ Superstar <laughs> yesterday and finished it. And I'm working on number three. <gasps> look at this one. I mean, you look at, this is how you can tell it's French Angora. It's so fuzzy. Mm -hmm, so fuzzy, super lovingly raised, ethically sourced, hand combed by their caretakers. That's, Those are some happy bunnies. Seriously. They're raised on little in little villages. I think <laughs> it's just the cutest thing. So I'm working on number three. Um, we sent one out to Lynn. Yep, and three to and, Linda. And three to you, Linda. It's a it's a one nighter, but it's definitely I mean it's a one dayer, but you gotta hustle. I mean, not you purchase if for me to do it in a day, it's a hustle. Hence why I'm gonna knit while we're talking. But isn't this color gorgeous? We anticipate, I think, having a dozen colors. So I'm excited. I do need to do measurements though, because I've just been like this one. My grays, I'll show you guys a little bit longer. This is a really good example of yardage. 
<clears throat> so we have this bottom part, uh, eight rows of ribbing, and then you knit in the round until you're done with the third skein, and then you start your decreasing. However, because yardage is variable on balls, look at the gray's a little bit bigger. By now, like maybe four rows? Yeah, just a little bit longer. So there must have been more, four rows worth of more um, Angora in the gray. I'm gonna try and make them all this size, but I was like, okay, I didn't even think about that. I just was knitting, knitting, knitting in the dark and I wish I'd had another skein, but then I'd have to start the decreases. So I'm loving it. I'm like, look at me go. Two finished projects in a couple of days, third one on its way, a new design. I came into the store last, was it last night. And I was like, I have a new design for, um, one of the planned pooling colors from Dream of Color, so that's exciting. Mm. Things have shipped. Oh yeah, you want me to try one on? Hold on, let me go and make sure it looks good. Like, must get proper hat positioning. Mm -hmm. Oh, and for you guys, while she does that, the code for the clearance sale is on the Facebook post, Instagram, and in an email where you can copy and paste, but it is all caps the word super save and then the number 10. here we go ta-da no you don't have to make it slouchy you can choose to uh start decreasing i like a slouchy hat i think it looks better otherwise okay i'm going to show you why i do slouchy because you guys see how i pull it back on my head I think that's the most attractive way of doing it. Otherwise, you're doing it like this, right? But if you want your ears to be covered, you have to pull it down in the back, right? And then you just fold it over. So this one's a little bit shorter. The gray's a little bit longer. I don't care. I'll probably end up doing them all, like I said. Ta-da. Totally wearable though. And for a guy, you know, whatever sex you are or identify as, like my, a couple of my boys would wear this. They don't care if it's fuzzy. But it's a good fit. It's not too big. It's not, it fits Anna's head. It fits Kristen head, mine, and we're in the range of about two inches. So it's got enough stretch and we're doing it on size knit six needles. So it is a pretty fast little knit. I just think it's so cute. I mean, I'm really excited about this next color. I think I have four more, three more? Three or four. Till the next batch comes. There's a couple other colors in the next one. All right, so that's just a little, Maria, the most gorgeous pinks. There's like a ballet pink and the most gorgeous fuchsia that I would normally knit, but my friend Kristen wanted to knit it, so I let her knit it. It's beautiful. Susan, can you bring it out? Dick. Maybe Dan needs one. I mean, would Dan wear it? How Does he wear hats? Be? And it is a complete kit. So you're gonna get the pattern. You're gonna get the gorgeous tag. And I can talk about that one, thank you. So you'll get the yarn, the pattern, the tag that is this little easy to put on button stud style, like no sewing required, poke it through and you're done. In natural leather that patinas beautifully over time, like with wash and wear, it gets more and more caramely. Mm -hmm. And did you show them the inside of that? I did not. Look at this, you guys. It has care instructions. And of course, where you can find all the lusciousness. Bev, this is a multiple of four, so it's very easy to add or subtract stitches. Much, much easier. Okay, Maria, be prepared to be dazzled. Melanie, look at this one. Holy oh, electric pink. God. It's so gorgeous. Shannon, so nice to see you. Stitches is the first weekend in um, March. Now, my class the other day, last night, was saying, you know, they don't want to miss out on anything. So you can pay $10 to shop the market on Thursday night. So 
and I think that's three hours. If you feel like you have FOMO and you're gonna miss out. Melanie, seriously, is that the most gorgeous pink? Um, Cheryl Rushing wants a sweater out of the blue, so I gotta ah. know how much she needs. You can do, I'm not, I'm getting it together only for kits, but if there's a color that speaks to you and you wanna use it, uh, just let us know. We can order sweater quantity for you while she has supplies. All right, so that's just a little bit of news. And I mean, things are shipping from China, so that's exciting. I hope the pens arrive in time. I can't wait to show you guys the pens. Like I'm a nut when it comes to marketing. In another life, I must have been a market a marketer. But I ordered pens that are LED, so when you click it, Natique lights up. <laughs> it's so cute. So I'm hoping those will arrive in time. But I feel like we're doing really, we're doing great with our stuff. So we'll all need a vacation in um, March or April. So. There you go. Wait, Susan's already going on vacation to Disneyland. Yes, and you're going somewhere. I'm going to a trade show in Europe, but I am taking a few days to myself, so um, I'm very excited. I haven't booked any, nothing. <laughs> the flight, that's it. Absolutely nothing else. So I gotta oh dear. get on it. All right, we're gonna talk about our semi-monthly grand prize. Oh, and Karen did some fluffing. So for people who don't know what Twaldolin looks like, we have a gorgeous sample knit up. I'll have to show you some of the other stuff she did. I love when she walks me through and shows me yeah. what she changed. Because, you know, she's like, um, I changed some displays. And I don't remember that green one being there on that end. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, that's been there a while. But it's so pretty. Look at that. Karen, if you're on, oh, Karen, we have an idea so you can come and fluff to your heart's desires. I'm so excited for you. So, she did that. Here is Twaldolin in the original fiber. Susan knit this. It's a little bit looser than what the original gauge is, but do you guys see how nice and drapey it is? <laughs> do you see? Mm -hmm. That is not a vacation. That's literally oh, for Disneyland? Disneyland. Oh yeah, that's not a vacation. But see, that's how I feel like about on business trips. Like you can have a couple down days, but it's not really vacation. Um, okay. Abbott, you yours is Europe, so it counts as a little more. Do you see this one? Yes, oh, isn't it adorable? Kids. Those little kids are holding hands. So cute. All right, so that's it won't just zoom back out. some of Karen's lovelies. There we go. There we go. Okay, sorry, I was stuck on Zoom. But so for the grand prize, we have two fabulous skeins of this Fair Cotton Mariner in this beautiful colorway with vermilion and rose pink and a bronzy gold which is plenty to knit the Twaldolin design with this cute little tuck stitch pattern. They look like little butterflies. You know what's nice? This is such a squirrel moment on Tuesday. All the clearance is gonna be- I cannot wait for up. that. Well, we're gonna, like, yeah. Goodbye, goodbye sale bins. It's a long time, you guys, to have sales in your store for about six weeks. Uh, which is the normal clearance time, but I, and remember how much we had? I, we I did a great yeah, because we had three needs tables. To order pumpkins. Oh, one pumpkin. What Karen did. Everybody get one because look, you can jazz them up. You can go really simple and just add a cute bow to it to change up the coloring a little bit, or you can add beads. That is a necklace Oops. she got at the thrift store that she took apart and pinned it in. So it's like there's little, like they look like pearls, there's crystals, there's shells, the chain, and then a pretty um, kind of satiny ribbon. And then if you want to change up the color, she spray painted this one and then pinned on this cute little flower garland 
with like it's just matching pins so no hard work required just line it up and stab so cute i love this one mm -hmm. so see everyone get one pumpkin for That's a project one pumpkin because we ordered too many pumpkins we did. But that's all right. And look at them all. And they're, the big ones are three twenty five. The little ones are two fifty. It'll be two twenty five and a little like two ninety nine ish with the disc. The oh yeah. Discount. Yes, she's very very creative. Um, I love how Karen can take anything. She's a great upcycler. Yes. She sees things that we don't see. Oh, yeah, there's stuff that we're like, nah, that's not good anymore because it's chipped or whatever. Throw that out. And she's like, no, no, I can make that something beautiful. Like, okay. And okay. here you go. So we're going to be doing the drawing live on Friday the 17th. Monday? Friday, yeah, Friday the 17th, which is next week. Very excited to see who's going to be the lucky winner. All right, in our daily prize, we have one of our favorites, ribbon candy. This is enough to do the medium size. Ribbon candy is a one skate project. If you're wondering what it looks like, go to our Ravelry page or go to Ravelry, type in ribbon candy, and you will see so many options that people have done. Um, if you want to do the project out of a super bulky, look up the pattern Chen Du. It's C-H-E-N-G-D-U. Nancy I has been making them out of Savvy, Malabrigo Rasta. It's the same pattern, just different needles and gauges. I am all over the place today. You're going to need a bigger piece of paper. I know. I should do it in my thing, but that's... Um, what's the new one? Car what? The oh, yarn? Mm -hmm. For Malabrigo. Noventa. Thank you. That's going to be... Karen already saw it done in... So if you guys... Oh, I did. I saw that one. It was so pretty. People have been doing it in Noventa. It's gorgeous and soft. That may be what I'm going to do. Once I finish this, I need a... Once you finish 300 hats. Oh, that's fun. Melanie says she always has a ribbon candy on her needles for more gifts. Uh, she's taking it to a friend in Ukraine. You can do ribbon candy the medium size a night. I mean, an easy night in front of the TV. It's ridiculously easy. So the one lucky person is going to get this one beautiful skein of um, Silk Garden. I prefer Silk Garden or any of the ones that aren't to 100% wool. So there's other, uh, even in the sale bin, Okunashima would be perfect for it. And you could get multiples out of that. It's fun. It's easy. It's not boring because every other row is knit. Um, and one row is yarn over knit two together. It just creates this amazing fabric and we can't wait to release our new pattern um, for another cowl that's gonna be done out of worsted weight Noro. So Lynn's knitting those. So I'm excited about that. It's gonna be fun. You guys will see more is coming. Yep, that oh. yarn's that yarn's making its way across the country too. Yep. Here is, if you guys want to see Chengdu, this is on a size 15 needle, and you can get one out of one skein, or two, you can get the bigger ones, but here's another one. Here's another one. Nancy I, we need you to post your projects in Ravelry, and then I will feature them, which I love it because it's all your girlfriends. I love seeing... Um, if you guys were to do that, let me just show you how it works. I can go in, I don't know if I have any, but let's just say I go to projects. Well, this is Stacy Ting, but we could do, how do you do that? Oh, she just did it. So I'll ask for a photo request. And then if she says yes, it'll pop up. Oh, she just started this. 
Stacy Ting. That's nice. I can't wait to see that. Ooh, at a Noventa. In Anniversario. That'd be a good one. All right, so just a little bit. Of th Thank you, Nancy I. I love it. I know, and here's what I loved about Nancy sharing. Her girlfriends are in it. Or, Melanie, I want the one that all your girlfriends are wearing them. Like the one that it's on the neck and then the one they decided to make them two cups. So funny. So, so funny. All right, so one lucky winner is gonna get this ribbon candy kit. How you get entered every time you react to the video. You're gonna get one entry for every reaction. If you comment on the video, you're gonna get five entries for every uh, reaction. Melanie, if you post it on Ravelry, then I mm -hmm. can put it up. So I need them on Ravelry. I can't use those photos if they're not on um, Ravelry. Yeah, if that makes put sense. Put them in your project. You gotta put them in your projects and then we can ask to use them. All right, so five entries for every reaction. Oh my gosh, Layla went to the nature center. She must be doing Ooh, much fun. better. Boy, kids recover they so bounce. quickly. I mean, she had a rough start, but I'm glad she's doing better. And then if you want to really get bonus entries, you can share now. You're going to share to your stories. They'll never see it. But Melanie, how many of them are knitters? Right. Why would they be on Ravelry? I mean, I just think it's fun. Even if it's just the one that they're all wearing um, them as cowls, it shows the volume of it. So you do have to pop right in and write shared to my stories. Share to my page. And you're gonna get 11 entries for every one of those. So I'm so excited. All right, so we're gonna see, this is based off of yesterday's video with Anna and Susan. And let's see. Oh, Shannon Gordon, I'm seeing your name. Oh, Kathy Earl Johnson, congratulations. All right, congratulations, Kathy. Um, my slightly tired brain cannot remember if you are local or not. If you are local to collect your prize, you just stop by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and say, I have a prize. Can I pick it up, please? If you are not local, the next time you place an order at natikyarns.com, just put in the notes section that you have a prize and we'll send it all out together in one of our pretty pink packages. Oh yeah, Kathy's not local. It's misbehaving. Hey, it's technology, that's nothing new. So, since we have a minute, I'll show you guys some more of what's hiding in the clearance. There's some fabulous super bulkies for your quick knits. There's some awesome sock yarn that makes matching pairs, or if you're doing a project where you want like both sleeves to match, or a shawl that you want it to meet at the same color in the middle. You can use it that way to create matching so you don't have to do socks. Karen had a great idea with the super bulky to knit Easter baskets. Oh yes, that out one, of, cause that one felted basket she did out of the Tierra del Fuego was really cute. Okay, let's do this. Is it back cooperating? Yeah. Oh, and for anyone who's doing anything for people who like bling, oh, I love aren't those. these the cutest little rhinestone buttons? These were like, when they were like, we're not carrying them anymore, we're like, okay, send us everything you have. I everything. Because On a look how girl sparkly. Sweater. And then you can reuse them for the next sweater. And you can see, if I can get the camera to focus, they have the, what do you call, is it called a shank when it has the piece that sticks out of the back? It's a shank. Yeah. Okay, I did say that right. Yay. And they come in twos, so that way when you're doing small projects like baby stuff that don't take a lot of buttons, you don't have to buy a ton. You can buy just enough. Susan said we should put them on the Angora hat. Mm, mm -hmm. I'm 
mean. All right, you can decorate yours, Susan. That's weird. Oh, Susan, can you um, link these or maybe they're not working? The crystal flower buttons. All right, so we are showcasing a yarn that we brought in, oh gosh, last year. And we just did a major restock of it. Lots of us used it for Murray Green's summer knit along called Sail Away. Um, and it is fantastic to use. It's one of my favorite fingering weights for color work sweaters. I am wearing one of our designs out of it. And I believe this takes six colors. Yes, one skein each of six colors. Um, it, and it is just so nice to use. Um, I'm really in love with it. And the shade range is unbelievable. So let me just, I'm gonna pop down the greens. I'm gonna let Anna talk about it. Ooh, gosh. That's right? It, it's like. This is like a blend of those two. It kind of wants to go either, either side of that one. So we have starting off with on the left here kind of a cooler sprucey blue called hosta you can see it kind of has like darker teal shadows amidst that overall muted evergreen color this is lamb and goat by dream and color it's a soft squishy two-ply yarn it's perfect for small projects like fingerless hats and mitts and it also works uh, fantastic for sweaters or wraps it has lovely colors that fit in any wardrobe 25 colors it's pretty amazing so then we have this gorgeous color forest which is kind of more of a sagey green with these kind of taupe charcoal shadows then juniper which is more of just an overall sage green and then sage which reminds me of those little um lamb's ear plants the mm -hmm. velvety leaves oh, i love those ones one of the things that's nice about this it's a 90 percent uh new zealand wool 10% cashmere and it has the seal for responsible wool standards in New Zealand, which means the animals are treated humanely for the lovely fiber that they share with us. They're well loved sheep. Mm -hmm. That is not everyone knows that is something I actually really spend a lot of time researching. Um, I want fair wages and I want animals to be treated correctly if they're gifting us uh, their shed of hair. Yes, please be nice to the yes, furry animals. Seriously. All right, so here is our next lineup. Oh, this is pretty. We have Plum, which is kind of a purpley pink, like it's a violet red with just like it's way more violet than red. Plum is a very accurate color for it. Then we have Barberry, which is a really pretty soft mauve. Then Heather, which is this gorgeous rosy pink. And Garnet, which is a really pretty, like, cranberry red. Now, I realize you would need two of each on these, but you could also use this yarn for that mystery knit along. Oh, that would be beautiful. The colors in that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very subtle. You did this one? Mm -hmm. right. Yep, yep. You were distracted. Moving on! All right, here is, I mean, there's so many colors, it's kind of hard to choose what it's, to pair it's with. It's kind of hard to actually get them all grouped in Some palettes. Sort of gradient, yes, for sure. Because, yeah, I feel like these orange ones don't really have 
I mean, you for, could uh, for a gradient. like something like this into it, but, but that works. We have the pretty redwood color, which if you've never been to California to see the redwoods, it's a very accurate color of their bark. Kind of that more cinnamon orange. And then fox, which is that brighter, more rust orange. I think, um, Shannon, this would be perfect and that would be a great project for you. Um, that new mystery, nothing's hard about it. Like each component is, if you look at the entirety of it, it could look um, scary, but it really isn't. Each section is very easy to knit based on her other um, mystery knit alongs that she's done. And you have us, plus her patterns come with a video link. So if you get stuck on something, you can go to her video and watch it again and again and again. Oh, here you go. Good. So same right. designer. This one was originally a mystery knit along. Yes. This is the first Great British Baking Shawl because there's a Great British Baking Shawl too. But you can see like she kind of does sections of a little bit of fun and then rest and then a little bit of fun and then throw in some rest. So there's a mix of a little bit of pay attention and I can zone out for a minute. So she mixes the techniques very nicely. And this one coming up basically says for like the types of stitches that are in it that there's like mosaic knitting, stripes. That's pretty much it. Like there's nothing complicated in it. Yeah, mm. lamb and goat would be perfect for this shawl too. Guess what I sent home with Karen yesterday. Does it start with S and end yes, with Opie? It does. <laughs> yes, it does. I was like, let's get it going. Oh man, there's some beautiful things. All right, I'm gonna Travel show you rabbit hole. what people are making. Now here's one that is made with a lamb and goat. Basically one skein of two different colors. This is called the boob hat for Macy. I hope Macy's her baby. Let me see. I'm like, did it originally? I don't get. I don't get the name. Boobalicious yarns. Oh, oh it's named after the yarn. Yeah, but look okay. how cute that is. One skein of two different projects. This is two by two ribbing. It's kind of like a chevron lace something detail. Something interesting there. Diamonds or something. Blue. Yeah, it's hard to see because it's like diamond gets small. I mean, that's very interesting. Here is a really fun, this is the Easy V by Caitlin Hunter. This is done with um, that yarn also. Maybe that yarn's mixed into it, but I- Yeah, I feel like they mixed- Lamb and goat, lamb and goat. Oh yeah, so they mixed yeah, it a little bit. Because I was like, one of them didn't look fuzzy enough. Right. So cute. This is Stripes by Andrea Mowry. That's a great she, one. She has great patterns. She like, does. If you're intimidated by knitting sweaters, knit one of Andrea Mowry's. Yeah. Or Olive Knits, those two. Like, they, they got you. They'll make it easy. Yeah, very, uh, to me, some of the top designers, as far as their patterns, in my opinion, are taken to the lowest common denominator which isn't saying something negative, that's positive. So people who are newer can still read the read it and understand the directions. That doesn't happen all the time. All right, here's another one. This is the Aurora Cabin Shawl. Here's a bigger picture. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. That's pretty. I can see Roxanne knitting that. And I can see, let's see, I, I see Plum and Heather and then that lilac color. I'm like I can just I mean, about name I can just palette. about name all the colors in there. Yeah. This is a nice neutral palette. We've got the coal on the left, which is like this warm, chocolatey charcoal. Then this soft kind of 
olivey brown called oak. This gorgeous caramel called agate. This fabulous sunflower yellow, amber. And then the soft, creamy, neutral straw. This is a beautiful one color Whoa. shawl. This is called the water shawl. Susan. It's made with one color. Look at her picots. She has them threaded, so that makes it a little bit faster. And these short row sessions. Oh, yeah, this is right up Susan's alley. Oh, Susan. Great movement. I see Susan doing it, but making every one of those short row a different color. wedges a different color. Yeah, agreed. Another fun pattern. This is the Collins T. That's cute. Mm -hmm. I like the little like one by one color work dits. Four colors. Oh, Melanie, threaded in the Pico means she threaded blocking wires through her Picos to make them easier to block. So instead of individually pinning out each one, you put them on the lace sweater wires. It's a game changer, those. Another fun project. Golden oh, I love Farm her patterns. Jennifer Steingass. I mean, it really, let me show you guys. The, that's what's nice about using this yarn. There are really, I mean, you can see how many colors are in that. There's enough colors in this line that you can ombre within it for something like that. And isn't it beautiful? Her color work patterns are so gorgeous. Is this the same? No. Let's do this one. This, this is the black. I'll pair it with that. It's hard to see sometimes. So we have spruce, which is this really rich, dark teal. You can kind of see it almost has like eggplant shadows to it. They're a little bit purpley. Then in the middle, we have C, which is a really beautiful dark teal. And then on the right, we have this gorgeous soft water blue called Brook. So see if you were doing that golden fern pattern, you could get a beautiful blue ombre out of this one. Mm -hmm. And pair it with something like That's this. That's what I was just thinking is that dove, which is like a pewter gray, would make a great background color. Or something like that. Which I think is that bone. Yes. I wonder if straw would be good. No. Of the two, I like this one better. I like Dove, but if you're, you know, if you like warmer colors by your face, then mm -hmm. Bone might be better. What I was talking about earlier, you guys, this is the hottest pattern right now, the Sophie scarf. Uh, this is done, I think, with one skein. So if you're wanting to sample this yarn and see how fantastic it is, the Sophie scarf would be a perfect introduction. This is garter stitch with the simplest I-cord edging. Uh, I-cord edging is really easy to do. On the right side, you knit those three, just like you would normally. On the wrong side, you are slipping the stitches as if to purl, slip three, and then you knit. So you would slip these three, knit across, and slip the last three. And so the I-cord is made by just knitting and slipping. Very easy. Very, very easy. Mm -hmm. It looks like it might be difficult. It is absolutely not. Nope, it's easy peasy. Um, okay, this one. Oh, that's cute. This is season, knit knitting season hat. If you like color work, uh, this would be great because you've got this um, 
flipped brim so you can make it slouchy. Do you see how it's got the extra? Mm -hmm. Or you flip it and so over your ears, it's double thick and what's nice, it's double thick here also. Because if you've never done Fair Isle, it kind of makes it a whole second layer in the background from all of your floats. So it makes it a nice warm hat, even in a thinner weight yarn, like the fingering weight. Squirrel. That's okay, I'm just gonna grab some more Thank colors. You. I did pair them. Okay. You know, I and didn't have quite enough hand for all four. Lineup of all of the amazing colors. So we have Dahlia, which is this really rich, deep violet. <coughs> then Lilac, that soft lavender color. A really pretty light sky blue called Water. And then the rich charcoal gray with just the slightest navy blue leaning called Night. And for those really fun brassy green colors, we can fit the color palette. So we have lichen, which is this kind of olive green with gold highlights. And then we have ginkgo, which is that brighter, more chartreuse green. I know, now's the tricky part. Mm -hmm. Getting all of them in order, which that's already a beautiful palette. Like we'll just have to drool over all of them as she blends them in. I mean, you want very few companies will release this many in this Shetland wool combination. I mean, that little bit of cashmere that's in there, like 10% doesn't sound like a lot, but it makes a huge difference in how soft the yarn is. I don't know that you're getting them all in one line. Oh, I'm going to. It'll just be Well, crazy. I don't know if I'll be able to show it all in one line. You're going to, like, pan over it. You'll have to come over on this side. Yeah, I'm like, I think I'm going to have to come around. Or what if we did this? Hold on. Move this. We'll rearrange the whole Move counter. This. There you okay. Go. Now I can pan from the neutrals to the purples and blues to the greens and the golds, to the rests and the pinks and the plum. That is a whole gorgeous <laughs> rainbow of color. Do you know what I love? I gotta point this out. That it's basically that? No, look. Oh, her ends? This, you guys wonder, I was wearing my beaded silk and sequins yesterday. I never wove in the ends under the armpit. So every that time is, I have to like stuff them in. That is the spot I always forget to weave in is an armpit tail. Almost just, every single sweater woven, has one. I feel like they're woven in. She just hasn't cut she just them. just didn't trim them. Yeah. But this just goes to show you the amazing stitch definition that this yarn does. If you have used Shetland wool, it's really sticky because it's great for um, color work. However, it's not soft. It's something that you wear another uh, garment underneath, whether it be a long sleeve t-shirt, something like that. So for me, I prefer to have something that is um, really soft on my skin. And this is one that I can wear. I mean, you can see I've got it. It's just on my arm. It's not scratchy. The New Zealand wool, high micron count mi mixed with a 10% cashmere. It's a game changer in um, the color work yarns. I love it. And I love all the colors. I do want a pink. So that's, you guys know, I've asked, 
I'm like, can't we get more of a fuchsia pink? And then I'd like, it's rosy. So I want, they did try and make it be a natural uh, earth aesthetic colors, but you know, you could throw out a bright pink for us. Like just make just it, a, a just bit. make it an exclusive. That way it doesn't mm -hmm. throw off your, your line. Oh my gosh. I was talking about uh, stitches to my um, class yesterday and how exciting it is with like all the exclusives that'll be. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There's going to be so much good stuff. It is. Like, if you guys aren't local, just start stocking for flight deals because you should come out here. Yeah. I mean, we do have people coming out, so it's very exciting. All right, so we're talking about what we are wearing. I have thrown everything around. This is um, one of our patterns called Miss Waz, and it literally is in honor of Jilda. You guys know she loves... Johnny was and um, she is the rep for this line so I really wanted to just a little homage to her using six different colors it's a very simple striping to blend the two colors um, and I just I really like the way that it looks um, very soft you could do it doesn't have to be an ombre you can do one color, two colors, you can make it more striped. But I like that, okay, I could have it this way and I have it be the dark section. You could turn it. You wanna be more green today? You want it to be more green, you can turn it like this and have this be the section. You can undo the buttons. This is a perfect traveling wrap. You undo the buttons, it goes around your shoulders, it can go on your lap and very soft there is nothing hard about this one it is we didn't even do anything on the edging it's just stockinette so it does have a slight roll but it doesn't bother me we've got seed stitch here if it bothers you you could do a little seed stitch however in this section it looks wonky that's why i didn't do it you could do like a one by one rib just could, to yeah flatten it out a little more but then you'd have to do it down here so yeah just have to be careful I like it just like it is but it's your project you get to do whatever you choose all right I'm going to turn around and show you the beauty that Anna is wearing today this is one of my favorites it's a little ginormous because I overdid it with the making it bigger but this is Casa Pinka's pattern rainbow warrior it's a crescent shawl designed for two colors, but many skeins called to me. But it's this really fun stitch pattern of just garter stitch and basic one by one mosaic knitting. Nothing hard. Make it up much. real close so you guys can see. Is this stunning? So you can see here's, she's got garter stitch right here. Then she used that color to blend. Then orange, blend the orange, yellow, so far all the way down into purple and because i had more colors than there were sections i made it bigger but i made it a little bit too bigger i mean I it's a borrow, nice wrap I had to borrow some leftover minis from susan's project because I, I went a little that's crazy. all right all right and susan i love that's one of my favorites mad mini wrap and it would be awesome in dream and color. Lemon goat. Mm-hmm. Words. Oh, it's dream and color. A, it's a subtle yeah. color difference. And there's enough in that line. I like the squareness of the bottom. Yeah, I like the way they did the shaping on that mm -hmm. one. Like, it's not quite your normal boomerang shawl. So each section has a few short rows, I think. It's been a long time. The bottom definitely has short rows. There's not very many, and it's a good way to learn them. Because it's just garter stitch. Yeah. When all, it, I'm just curious, because you knit a lot. How many knits are in your collection? <laughs> I'm just curious. I have no idea. Uh -huh, more than 100. Probably. Yeah. I, have I would no idea. I would say so. How do you store them? They're kind of, they started in a cedar chest, now it's overflowing and the lid doesn't shut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like sitting on it. Oh, I don't even try anymore. It just, I go rooting through it. And Nothing wrong with that. I have no idea. I love that. I have mine in drawers. Makes me feel better about my candles. closet. That's how I do it. So, all right, my friends, I have the Clapity class today. 
uh, starting at 11. Tomorrow we have the final series in our a little shorty socks class that will be available on demand afterwards. So if you're interested in learning how to do socks and our daytimes don't always fit with you or the weekend, it's a great opportunity to take a class at your own leisure and you can still email us at hello at Natique Yarns if you have questions, you can call us. But when you get a chance, go to our website. We have more than a hundred on-demand classes currently available in three different art forms. We do hand knitting, crocheting, and machine knitting. We have had a run on machines lately. Mm -hmm. Maybe a uh, new year, new skill. I'm excited for that. We're going to have to add another machine knitting class. <laughs> the Saturday afternoon, Lisa Bowman wants that too, but then I have to leave room for um, doing private lessons in it too. Uh, Roxanne, it's linked right above you, but it's called Mad Mini Wrap. Not Mad Max, Mad Mini. Like miniature mini. Mm -hmm. All right, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. The shop is open from 11 to 5. Don't forget, this weekend is the last of the clearance sale. You get an additional 10% when you use your coupon, and there is still fantastic things in there. We still have Capri Blue Candles, the journals, uh, that sheep sign, which is super cute. We've got pumpkins, we have the club bags, the super cute skirts, which are my favorite. Um, Anna wears a lot of those, that brand too. It's stretch denim, like you can't go wrong. It's so comfortable. It's comfortable either way. All right, my lovelies, we are off. I have class and another hat to finish. So we will see you soon. And just to let you guys know, we're all caught up on our shipping. So your packages are making their way across. You missed me. No, I think I didn't You missed me. You. I'm dry. It's because it's almost gone. I'm so thirsty today. But we'll see you soon. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.